In this video, I will show you how to install the SMAE charger. Today, I will focus on the classic wall mounting. For your own safety, please follow the instructions in the booklet with safety relevant information included in the scope of delivery. First, remove the wall bracket from the box and attach it to the wall using four suitable screws. I've already completed the step due to time constraints. There are three options for cable entry. Cable entry from above, from below and from behind. In this case, I opted for the cable entry from the rear. The communication cables are placed on the left-hand side and the AC supply cable on the right-hand side. A cable clip is included in the accessory pack for the AC supply cable, which is attached to the wall bracket depending on the selected cable routing. In addition to its function as a bending aid, cable ties are also used to provide stain relief. In case of cable entry from the rear, I fix the supply line directly to the lux of the wall bracket using cable ties. I continue with the communication cables. I have opted for wired integration into the home network. Insert the LAN cable on the left hand side and fix it with a cable tie. Optionally, further communication lines can be prepared for connection to the digital inputs, the multifunctional relay or the RS485 interface. Cut the cables to approximately 49 cm at this point. Now it's time to assemble the SMAE charger itself. To do this, remove the device from the packaging and use a narrow screwdriver to loosen the transport lock on the upper tabs of the cover on the right and left. Remove the cover at an angle of approximately 70 degree and put it to the side. Now remove the required number of seals depending on the supply lines and guide the appliance over the already cut lines. Thanks to the low weight of less than 5 kg, one-man installation is possible without any problems. Guide the appliance flush to the wall and latch it to the wall bracket with a downward movement. Then secure the device on both sides with a screw from the accessory pack to prevent it from being levered out. Pierce the previously removed membrane of the grommet with a pointed object. I use a screwdriver. Now I take care of the AC connection. To do this, guide the prepared seal over the cable. Make sure that the seal fits properly. Next, strip the cable, strip the wires, Fit wire and ferrules if necessary and insert into the spring terminals with the aid of a screwdriver. The correct assignment can be found in the labeling on closed. Finally, check the tight fit with a tensile check. I proceed the same way with the communication cables. Guide the seal over the cable, check that it is correctly seated, select one of the two LAN ports and finally secure the network cable with a cable tie on one of the two bars as stain relief. The device has two LAN ports. This means that serious connection via daisy chain is possible. Further up, Four digital inputs plus a fast stop are available. The corresponding connection terminals can be found in the accessory pack. In the upper area you will find two additional bars for clean cable routing in the housing. There's also a digital output at the top right, a so-called multifunctional relay, for example for controlling a shuko socket for PV optimized charging of an e-bike. Finally, 
there's the option of integrating an appropriate energy meter into the system via the RS485 interface, for example. Once connected, the device is closed again with the cover. Position it at a 70 degree angle in the lower area of the hinges and tilt it upwards. Insert the locking tabs on the right and left until you hear them click into place and then secure with the two screws from the accessory pack. Assembly and electrical installation are now completed. I will show you how to commission the SMAE charger in the next video. If you need further assistance, check out more tech tips on our channel or comment your question below this video. Do you always want to see the latest tech tips on SMA products? Then subscribe to our channel.